We're looking at section 5.4. 5.4 applies trigonometric functions. If you'll notice on the screen, in lovely detail, I've put a triangle and I've put the three basic trigonometric ratios based on two angles. One angle is angle A, the other one is angle B. So in section 5.4, what we have to do is be able to apply this information to find the lengths of the sides of the triangle when we only know one side. So in this case, if you look in green, you'll see the numbers present. Uh, angle B is 35 degrees, and side A is 14. Now if we look on the right side at our basic trigonometric ratios that you should have already, um, I don't know, uh, memorized, uh, <clears throat> which one of the two, or which one of the six, excuse me, has side A and side C together? Well, there's two possibilities. We can either use sine of A, which is A over C, or we can use cosine of B, which is A over C. Which angle were we given? Well, the angle we were given is angle B. So the correct answer for this problem, cosine of B is equal to A over C. So now we've correctly identified the ratio we need to use. Plug in the information given. So cosine of B, where B is 35 degrees, is equal to A over C, and we're not going to put A. Why? Because we know the value of A. A is 14, and C we don't know yet. So that is the correct definition of how to find the measurement of that angle. But the, what we're actually looking for is side C. So how do we solve for side C? Well, here's the shortcut. When you're faced with a situation where you have the variable in the denominator, then you take the cosine or sine or whatever your ratio is and the variable and you switch places. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. <coughs> C will go to the left side. 14 will stay in its place. Cosine of 35 goes on the right. So in your calculator you're going to take 14 divided by cosine of 35. The answer you're going to get is 11.4 68128 and a 62 at the end. So that is the length of side C and we're going to round it to two decimal places. So 11.46 rounds up to 11.5. So C equals 11.5.